welcome back to my channel. It's Caitlin here and today I am going to be doing another testing products video. So today I'm going to be testing MUA makeup. Now I've already done a full face of MUA testing on my channel before but MUA has been really, really highly requested. So I do still have some products which are brand new to me and I've not tried yet. So I'm gonna be doing kind of like a part two. And although I don't have a full face, I thought you guys would still be interested because they are new products and a lot of them are new products to the MUA collection. So they've just come out and I wanted to try them out. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, then please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel and I will just get on to trying out these products. So the first product which I'm going to be trying out today are one of these two guys. So these are the MUA Custom Foundation Mixers. They have a light one and a dark one and I'm going to be using the light one today because I have a foundation right here which I absolutely love and is clearly the wrong shade for me. So I'm going to be mixing it with some of this lightening mixer and see if it can lighten my foundation without changing the formula which I love. Obviously if you have a foundation which is too light for you, you can use the darkening one but I'm going to be using the lightening one today since I'm pale. So definitely way too dark for me at the moment. And I'm going to add in some of this lightening stuff. I don't really know how much to add. Getting lighter! <gasps> that actually worked! Okay, so I'm actually really, really impressed with how my foundation has turned out. I maybe could have used just a little bit more to make it just a little bit lighter, but it did do a really good job. Also, another thing which I liked about it was the fact that it made you have more foundation, so I didn't really need to use as much foundation, which is great because it was an expensive foundation. I really like how it's looking on my skin. The coverage of the foundation is quite a high coverage foundation and it definitely hasn't taken away any of that coverage, which I'm really enjoying and my skin also looks really, really healthy and glowy. I will definitely be giving this a lot of use and I will try the darkening ones maybe in the summertime when I've got a bit of a tan to see how that works. So. Yes, I'm really, really impressed with this product. So the next products which I'm going to be trying out, I have two of. These are the Correct and Conceal palettes. So there are a, whoops, so there is a darker one and there is a lighter one. And I'm going to be trying these out to do a bit of contour and also some concealing underneath my eyes. So I'm just going to use some of the lighter ones from this one underneath my eyes and then some of the darker ones from this one to give myself a bit of a contour. One thing which I do have to note about the light one is that the lightest shade is not that light. You can probably see here there's not much highlighting going on underneath my eyes right now. It's all very much the same colour as my skin tone. I am obviously quite pale at the moment, but if you are somebody who's maybe on the pale side, you're not going to get a really pale concealer from this. That blended so, so quickly. I'm really impressed with how quickly that blended together. So now I think I'm just going to go in with one of these three shades here and do a little bit of a contour. really like how this has turned out. I am quite pale at the moment, which I've already said 101 times, but I think it's worked really, really well. Both of these palettes were so, so easy to blend. Everything just worked and blended out so, so fast. They're really easy to use and I couldn't recommend them enough for trying out like cream contour and stuff with because I've worked with more difficult products in the past and these have definitely been one of the easiest blendable creamy products, if that makes sense. My skin is just feeling so healthy and radiant. I don't know if you guys can see in the camera, but I feel like I'm glowing at the moment, which is unusual for winter when my skin is usually quite dry. Definitely check out these products and they are very inexpensive as well, so why not try them out? So the next product which I'm going to be trying out is a powder to set all of this. So the powder which I'm going to be trying out today 
is the Ultra Fine Loose Setting Powder. Now this is kind of like the HD powder from NYX. I'm not a fan of these kind of powders. I found them very difficult to work with and you have to make sure you use a really small amount otherwise you get a lot of flashback. So with these powders I like to use this kind of brush here which is big and fluffy but not very dense so you can really easily dust it all over your face without getting a lot of product in one place. So I'm going to be using this one. This one's by Lottie. my opinions on the powder. It's definitely not as good as the NYX one. It's definitely not mattified my face as well as the NYX one does, but it has done a fairly good job. My skin does feel really nice and smooth still, but just slightly tacky still. My skin does still look really healthy and dewy and glowy, so I am still impressed. So now I am going to move on to highlights. I have two products here which I'm going to be trying out for you because they look so cool and I really want to try both of them. So the first one which I'm going to be using is the Glow Beam Liquid Highlighting Cushion which I thought was just really interesting. It's not a proper cream highlight nor is it a powder highlight. It's just like a cushion, it looks so interesting. And then also the second product which I'm going to be trying out is the Glow Beam Highlighting Powder in Gold, which doesn't really look like a shade that is going to work with my skin tone, but I'm going to be trying out anyway. And what really caught my attention with this one is that you grind the highlights yourself. So you twist the top here and then the powder kind of comes out. So I thought that was really cool. So I'm going to be trying both, doing the cushion first and then putting some of this over the top. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. It's not actually giving me much of a glittery highlight or anything like that. It's just making my skin glow. I don't feel like I've got a proper highlight at all. My skin just looks like it's glowing, if that makes sense. The actual colour of it is quite a bronzy dark colour, but when you blend into your skin the colour just completely goes and it just blends into your skin tone and just looks like a glow. This is amazing. Wow, I actually love this so much. It makes your skin look so healthy. In summertime, this is definitely gonna be my best friend. So I'm just gonna like grind. The idea of being able to grind the highlight powder out is a really good idea because then you can actually get a lot of product. The only thing which I do have to say about it is that it is a legit gold colour, which doesn't quite work with my skin tone at the moment, but it's still really pretty and it did definitely give an amazing highlight, so. Okay, so I've just gone away and done my eyebrows. The lighting may have changed just because my ring light actually has just died on me and we now don't have a ring light, but I need to finish this video, so I'm gonna keep going and just hope the lighting is okay. I'm gonna move on to eyeshadow. I actually have three eyeshadow palettes which are new to MUA. I have the six shade Coral Delight palette, then I have the six shade Smoky Shadows palette, and then I also have the six shade Glamour Gold palette, which are all amazing golden colours. So I think I'm going to use this one here because my skin is really golden and I feel like this one is going to work really, really well. So I'm going to try out this. The only thing which I do have to say about it on first impressions is that there are no matte shades in here, which is a little bit annoying, but I'm just going to kind of work with it and see what happens. So first off in this palette, I'm going to take this one here, which is the bright gold colour, and just put this all over my eyelid and get a really nice gold shade going. So now I'm just going to go in with this shade and a little bit of this shade to darken up our outer corner area. And I'm just going to pop some highlights on my inner corner and the brow bone as well. Okay, so these shades in this palette are insane. I mean, there are no matte shades, so right now my eyes just look crazy. But I absolutely love how pigmented these are, especially these two shades. I am in love with the colour and 
in love with pigmentation, so I could not recommend them enough. They are really creamy, which is really great for like doing a pop of colour, not so great when it comes to blending. So I'm now just going to quickly go away and do some mascara and then I will come back and finish off with some MUA lip products. Okay, so I've just gone away and done some mascara on my eyelashes and I'm now just going to finish off with lips. So the lip product which I have to try out is the MUA Velvet Lip Lacquer in the shade Flare. And it's a really, really dark, reddy purple shade. It kind of looks more on the purple side. So I'm going to be putting this on my lips and letting you guys know what I feel about it. I really do apologise about the lighting. It's really annoying me too. I can't help the fact that my ring light broke. I have just gone and done my lips. I'm really, really loving the colour. It's so, so pretty. I would love to wear this on a night out or something. But one thing which I do have to say about this is that it is super, super drying. It dries so, so fast on your lips, which I guess is a good thing, but it does dry your lips out so much. I can already feel my lips rubbing together and just feeling so dry oh my gosh but I do love the color I do like how it looks especially with this eye look but they are quite drying that's just one thing I have to say about them so yes so those were all the products which I had to test out for you guys today I really hope you enjoyed this video I have now found some new favorites of mine I'm definitely more impressed in this MUA video than I was in my last MUA video MUA have definitely upped their game in the last six months the things which I was most impressed about were the lightning foundation mixer drops and also the cream cushion highlighter. I love that product so so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sorry about the dodgy lighting. I hope you enjoyed this video anyway. Please give a thumbs up if you did and subscribe down below if you are new to my channel and haven't subscribed already and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye guys! Tip, tip,